Jay from a beautiful back deck enjoying some of the oak trees and sunshine. But anyway, uh, I know I've been uh, slacking on doing some vids, and I apologize for that. Uh, before we get started, I want to go ahead and thank everybody who reached over 500 subscribers. If you don't mind, continue. I'm still looking for subscribers. We're on our 500 was my uh, uh, goal, I guess, <laughs> original goal. And next goals are going to be a thousand. And to thank everybody uh, that finds humor and uh, a re sweet release from reality by coming here to this channel, I will be on Friday doing a twelve-hour stream on uh, for Friday Night Live. So please check that out too. So subscribe and hit that notification bell. Uh, so anyway, the Buffalo, New York, just had that shooting. Seven people, ten people dead. Um, I knew nothing about this. I n had no idea this happened. No idea until last night on my uh, uh, announcement of the got the five hundred subscriber uh, live feed. So there's news all over. Here's there's two things about news. One, when it first happens, something like this, I like to get as much information as I can and archive it. I've already missed my window of opportunity, it looks like. I can't find, like, his manifesto. I can't find the videos he put out. None of that stuff. Um, told you I sit outside. Anyway, uh, the other thing is... Um, I don't like talking about something like this until about three days after it happens. Because you start getting a clearer picture of everything at that point. But we've noticed a few things. There seems to be a narrative that's taking root, and which I think is uh, shameful. Uh, first of all, this is, on so many different levels, there are things that we'll be talking about over the next few days about this. But right now, I just want to get a fresh perspective, and I found Reddit. Somebody had wrote, written down a summary of the tragic shooting in Buffalo. Uh, this will be a non-news source uh um, I don't know, example, I guess. And I've not read this yet, so it may just suck. If it does, I apologize. Anyway, uh, at approximately 2.30 p.m., the shooter, 18-year-old Peyton Gendron from Conklin, New York, drove to the top supermarket in four hours. Isn't that weird? I mean, I don't know of a supermarket four hours away from me. Do you know of one? I saw somewhere, like, supposedly in his manifesto, he had drawn out a map with a route he was going to take in a single supermarket that's four hours away. I mean, I don't know where to even find a supermarket four hours from where I am. I don't even know where to find uh, four supermarkets an hour from where I'm from. Uh, he was carrying an illegally modified high-capacity Bushmaster X-15 rifle. There goes my red flag. It's always the same rifle. It's always the Bushmaster X-15. Um, because, like, one person used it. It's like, that is how every gun used to be an Uzi. Now every gun is the Bushmaster X-15. Total flyer for me. A Savage bolt-action rifle, not used. Yeah, I can tell you that. And a Mossberg 500 pump-action shotgun, reportedly carried through the shooting, but not used. The shooter was also wearing heavy body armor and a tactical helmet with a GoPro device on top. So he looked like a nerd. Uh, the shooter stepped out of his car and began to fire. He shot four individuals in the parking lot with his rifle, killing three of them. Two killings outside were seen on his live stream before it was cut off. Isn't that weird? Like, how can they identify it so quickly and cut it off? After shooting for two minutes outside, the shooter turned towards the supermarket. The shooter fired around 23 rounds outside with his rifle. Now, this is all impossible because New York has gun control laws. You're not supposed to have more than seven rounds in a magazine. 
in New York. So how is he able to do all this? I'm sure it's your fault. The shooter then went inside the store where he, he where many had heard the shots outside and fled the store through the back exits. As the shooter entered the store, security guard and former Buffalo police officer Aaron Salter engaged him near the door, firing three rounds of the shooter. Because the shooter wore uh, heavy armor plane, the bullets fired by the guard had no effect. That's not true. That's not how it's not how that works. Not how physics work. You are yeah, it may not the bulletproof stuff uh is to prevent bullets from going into and penetrating your flesh. But the energy of the round is still hitting you. Does that make sense? So stand 10 feet away from somebody throwing a football or baseball or whatever. Don't catch the ball. Let that ball hit you in the chest. It's not going to go through you, but all that force is, is going to hit you. That's how it's going to feel. Um, yeah, it's just, it's not made, that's not how the, uh, anyway. Uh, let's see, where was I? Uh, store, let's see here. So we got shut around, salt, oh. The suspect shot seven rounds at Salter and killed him, although the shootout allowed for some others to flee the store. The shooter reloaded near the body of Salter and then continued to work his way through the store. CCTV shows the shooter killing five more people and injuring two as he shot up the rest of the store. Why are the five people still there? Of the five killed in the store, four were employees trying to evacuate customers. The other three were customers running for the back exits. Forty shots were estimated to have been fired here over the course of two and a half minutes, according to CCTV run times. After pausing his killing, the shooter reloaded again, made his way back to the front of the store, firing at officers in a brief standoff. The shooter stopped shooting, then walked out of the store, holding a shotgun to his neck. Patrol officers were able to talk him into dropping the shotgun, I didn't know what they said to him. And were uh, able to tackle and arrest the shooter at approximately 2.36 p.m. So, it was a six-minute deal. The shooting and standoff left... Oh, that's the next sentence. The shooting and standoff left 16 minutes. 13 people have been shot. 10 were dead. 74 shots from the X-15 were estimated to have been fired. So, 74 shots. So, the guy had to have 11 magazines. He had to reload 11 times in New York. Right? Because he followed the law. Why don't they just make it illegal to kill people? That might work. Um, still, body armor. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I just... I, I would like to hear a professional talk about it first. And see like what the effects of body armor um, would do. I don't know how the, you can just stand there um, taking it. I don't understand why you're only getting three shots off. Um, I don't know. It just seems weird. Everything on this whole thing seems weird. Uh, you know what's funny about it is if the officer had maced him, <laughs> because I don't think anything I've seen has said he had a gas mask. If he had maced him, it would have... <laughs> into the situation but again nobody in the store had mace nobody in the store had a firearm of course it's new york you're not allowed to have these things because you're protected by the government up there and you see how the government's protecting you um there's like gonna be a lot more coming out about this y'all just listen just sit tight don't fall for the narratives and don't jump to conclusions get all the facts first and we'll make it through this one too and when you get upset you're only upset because you think somebody is attacking your, you personally, and you just don't give them that power, all right? So, listen, love you guys. Stay safe out there. Hug somebody you love. Make sure that, you know, don't cut somebody off in traffic today. Just be a little bit nicer to everybody. Remember, we're all on the same plan together. And, uh, y'all, uh, thanks for uh, getting me to 500, and I look forward to Friday, and I look forward to getting to 1,000. I love you guys. I really do. Peace out. Godspeed.